Welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. This is part number 11, and we left off last time with finishing off level 3-3, and I showed you a bit of the minigame slot machine, and maybe if we get time, uh, we'll, I'll revisit some of these other minigames as we unlock them. But let's get into 3.4. <laughs> So if you recall from the last video, we had introduced this concept of the pool in the backyard. So we went from the front yard in the day to the nighttime to the backyard in the day. And if you're smart, you'll realize we'll have to do also the backyard at night. Uh, so we need our sunflower, we need our lily pad. Uh, we also were introduced to the tangle kelp. And I typically use that in the front side of the pond here. We have a jumper, so we're definitely going to want walnuts. Uh, so let's see here, we're going to use probably the repeater, jumper, walnut, hmm, tree peter, three peter. Let's see here, so we definitely have space for one more. Uh, let's see here. Kind of debating, I think I'll put the squash just as a security f well if, if i get into trouble i will have that to work with okay so let's be in here with our normal strategy and if you recall what i normally do with the daytime strategy is get my sun production up as quickly as possible and i use the potato mines in the early game instead of pea shooters and the reason for that is that uh, in that case I won't have to have a cheap pea shooter in one of my plant slots here. I can use the more expensive repeater. We also can't forget about the pond here, so I will, as part of the process, I will be planting the other pads there too. So this is interesting, we got two guys in the same row, and I do have my potato mine recharged, so I'm ready to put that back. And I'm already feeling pretty good that my sun production is ramped up quite nicely. Though I should have put that potato mine there so I can put my sunflower there. I'll just have to get the water when it's done. And I'm going to put my kelp there, actually probably could have put it back here, but that's okay. For early game, it's not a big deal. I'll just put my repeater there for now. I could have put my kelp in this spot here. There's no rush to kill the guys back soon. Later in the level, I would want to put them up front. So we have the traffic cone guy. Zombie. Yeah, so this is what I mean. I should have put it right there instead. Uh, the three peter, or sorry, three peter. Last level, I used the three peters quite a lot. So there we are. We have our sunflowers fully in position, and now we just allow the sun production to provide us with three peters. start laying the repeaters. Uh, because I've got these kelps, I don't actually need repeaters in the waters yet. Oh, so here we have our first jumper. So you want to put something in front of him to force him to hop over so that he slow walks from that point. So I'm probably going to put at least two columns of the repeaters. So here's my kelp. Watch him take care of this rubber ducky conehead dude. Take him down my ball. So we'll put another one for right there. Start to get the repeaters going. I'm going to definitely want to use my chompers this round as well. And typically you put him behind a walnut just like that. So I'm going to let this kelp get eaten. Or sorry, get the kelp to eat the conehead guy. And we'll just keep walnutting, repeatering, chompering. The kelp is a bit of a slow recharge. 
So I think I'll just start to get my repeaters in that position. So this has got three flags, so definitely gonna make it challenging. Still waiting to have enough to get my. Th so I'm gonna definitely drop my gun there. I need that. My wallet there. I definitely need my 200 to get my next repeater. I probably should have had it at the start of this level. So this, this jumper is going to get eaten by my trailer farm. Okay, so let's get another column of uh, repeaters. because they are relatively slow to spawn. Yeah, so you've got the scuba gear. So only the heat. The kelp will grab him, and that's actually a really good use of the kelp. Okay. So I'll definitely kelp in. Very good. So actually, I'm gonna because that walnut oh, was ready to recharge. I knew that. To place the walnut in the pond. So I'm gonna wait for my walnut to recharge, and I'll place him in the remaining walnut column. Uh, so this is not gonna be good. He's gonna jump that, and my chomper is ready to eat him. And he's gonna ravage my chomper. You can see that we. Totally. So wait, oh, that's almost ready. Great, so let's get that in place. Now let the kelp in front. So that's pretty good. And I can actually start to put chomp in the front here as well. And this is going pretty well. Huge wave, so second flag. Get another chomper here. You can see the kelp takes a lot to charge. Stick in there, might as well. It costs 25, it's relatively expensive. So. Lily pads. Definitely gonna want to replace this walnut. I think I'll do that now with my shovel and a new walnut. The worst thing you can have happen is have a Walmart break apart when you're not expecting it. Okay, so doing pretty good. So we'll see how these two jumpers do. I'll probably eat one if not both my jumpers there, which is unfortunate. Yeah, see so that? Yeah. And then they die. So I'm just gonna get another column of repeaters in here. It can't hurt. The old man zombie. I'm not sure if you've seen him before. I think you might have seen him in the night levels. So we're doing pretty good. I'm just planning on right now. Oh, I forgot about any of these things. So now. And yeah, just have three more positions, and I feel pretty good about that. Walnut's looking like it's in a rough condition. It's Guys, swallow. Get ready for the next wave, boys. Kelp. Oh, the threat spawn is off. See how they spawn in the water? So that's almost the end of this level. Feel pretty good. And I have car key. 
very important car key. So now I can visit Crazy Dave shop. So let's have a look, see what that is. Yep, we found your car. So if you're wondering what all the money is for, well, here you go. We're saving up to uh, purchase some of these items that uh, don't get unlocked. Normally, the big one that I'm saving up for is this nine slot position for 20,000. Uh, although, pool cleaner is good for the pool level, and I do like the rake because it does help with the early game setup. So I'll just spend my money on that. Once you buy this one, it's you don't need to buy it again. However, the rake only lasts for three levels, so sometimes I forget, and it's tough. Now, these two are two different things where they upgrade an existing plant. So this one you put on repeaters, and you can see they turn into these army shooter guys, Gatlin Peas. Very, very powerful. Very good game changer if you can get that unlocked. And likewise, the double sunflower, and again, you place that on a single sunflower, and you get twice as much. And in fact, you can do a single column of sunflowers with these on top of them, and they'll do the same amount of sun generation as a single, or as two columns. Very useful. So yeah, it's very powerful stuff. So I think, uh, I think I'm gonna do... See where we go here. All oh, the little guys. You can see their rake right there. So we're gonna so we're gonna stop this level here on the mini. Oh, we saw the rake go on the mini level, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.